Hey there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. So today we're going to talk about spray transferring, because many of you guys asked me that. And so, what we want to do, you want to hit play right here, go to offline with bots, do the workshop maps, you want to go to aim bots, this one, click on it, go harmless bots and go once again. So before we get into actually learning how to do it, you have to keep in mind, spraying has been nerfed, especially long range and also slightly in mid range. So it's only viable now in mid and especially close range, but not at long ranges. So spraying isn't the best option anymore. So you really want to get down your bursting and your tapping as well. Just as a quick disclaimer. So we want to join the T side and then we're just cutting off the three sides right here, like this. You can see the walls are coming up and we will just get rid of these kind of areas. We also want to get rid of infinite ammo and fly out. So let's start out from the beginning in case we've got any beginners watching. Every weapon has a spray pattern, we're firing it. And for the AK it's going up to the right, to the left, right and left again. Just a small dude once again. And that's the spray pattern. And the problem now with the new nerf recently was that like towards the end after the seventh bullet, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up until this one, so all the ones that are going up, so just controlling the ones going like this, you got a pretty good and accurate spray. However, after that, you can see they're kind of similar, but not all that much, especially if you're like going further away from the wall. So what you preferably want to do, if you got the choice, of course, you never want to spray more than about 15-ish bullets, because also by the time you spray that many bullets, you should probably be dead anyways, in case the other guy also hasn't like missed 10, 20 bullets on you. So, preferably what you want to do, or best, the biggest problem that I see when people try to transfer their spray is they're killing the first guy, and for example like this, and then they're dragging the spray. They're just kind of trying to drag it onto the next target, like this. And they're trying to look where the bullets are landing, and kind of orientate themselves based on that. However, what you want to do is you really want to... First of all, preferably get the headshot on the first target so you do not have to spray on that anymore. So just get rid of it immediately and then flick to the next one and then continue with your spray. That's basically the best thing that you can do if you really want to transfer your spray. For example, like I got this guy right here and then I just continue to spray or like this. That's basically how you want to do it. You're not dragging your spray onto the target, you're kind of snapping onto the target. So once again, just doing like this and then that's why you also want to use uh, not the infinite ammo ones, because theoretically you could do that. Which would be a little bit looking like this, if we turn it on once again. Just hit this guy and this guy. And... It's okay, but... Like, if we take a look right here, how far the bullets were away... Towards the end of the spray, the deviation is kicking in and increasing, so... You really should train without that, in my opinion. So once again... Also, another thing that's very important with, um, like, um, transferring your spray is, as I said before, you don't want to spray it on the first target like this. You can, though, as you can see, but preferably you want to get a headshot and then move on to the next one. That's basically the best thing that you can do, and you really want to be fast. You, you really want to look at your crosshair, not at the bullets landing and kind of dragging onto them. You really want to snap onto them. Another important thing is that, kind of how you are... Uh, setting up your targets. So I can like in this scenario. I got this guy this guy and this guy So what I can do is I can fire this one then this one and then this one Of course, there's the issue they keep getting further away from me So I actually don't have a pistol, but you can see this is close very close medium range and kind of not long range But the first away from me so it makes more sense to use the more accurate bullets in the beginning and fire this guy, then this guy, and then this guy, because the more up close they are, the easier it is to spray them down. So preferably I want to get a headshot on this guy, spray down this one, and then like drag my spray or best said snap my spray onto him. So it's basically like, like this. And that's how you transfer spray. Like, it's not all the different, I think. Many people, the big issue that they're having is really that they're just kind of dragging it behind, like they're panning it a little bit, just trying to spray it down and just trying to hit him like this and maybe run out of bullets, like I did right here. So, it's really not like, in my moving target tutorial set, when you're trying to shoot moving targets or spraying you wanna, and you miss the shot, you don't want to keep spraying and dragging behind them, but you want to fire, reset and fire again to hit them. And it's basically the same, but you're not stopping to fire like... For example, I in, in the beginner tutorial I said, fire, stop, fire. And it's kind of the same, like when you're transferring your spray, but it's just basically fire, you're not letting go, 
and you're aiming very quickly so you're not kind of losing any bullets in between. So it's basically like... You can see, none of the bullets landed in between, so it's just right here. One got in the way, in the middle, but it's usually just fire, snap next target or flick to it, and then continue. And then once again, preferably start out with a headshot that you can kind of move on to the next one very quickly. And you want to prefer to hit the furthest away targets like this guy first, and then move on to the closer ones like this guy right here. So I hope this was kind of helpful for you guys. Uh, I think it answered a couple of the questions that I mostly have gotten. And yeah, I think it's pretty much all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and lucky skill faker out.